Hi Gemini, welcome to July. This is Teresa from Tarot by T. And before I start your reading, I want to call in some good energy. And thank everyone for supporting the channel. Thank you for liking, subscribing. And if you're new, welcome. So let's see what's happening. Um, we've got a, a really busy month this month. We have two eclipses, a new moon eclipse in Cancer, a full moon eclipse in Capricorn. We've got a new moon in Leo, second, like a blue moon, and Mercury's going retrograde. So, um, let's see what, this, what the cards say about love and relationships for Gemini. So what's happening for Gemini for the month of July? May only the highest forces be present at this reading to ensure that the truth be told. What does Gemini need to know about love and relationships? What does Gemini need to know about love and relationships? For the month of July. The Chariot. The Five of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. The King of Cups. The Four of Cups, the Hierophant, the Moon, the Eight of Wands, the High Priestess, the Page of Wands. So Gemini, you start the month off with the Chariot. Chariot is a card of success through discipline and focus. So you might be scattered. You might be like, because this is a typical Gemini thing. Doing a million projects, you've got a million irons in the fire, and you're like scattering your energy. So you need to call in the scattered energy and focus on, figure out what it is you really want. Because I feel like you're kind of confused about what you want. Even though there are things being offered to you, you're not sure if it's the right thing. So you're kind of on the fence. You have this Five of Pentacles here, so your financial situation might be a little shaky in July. Maybe you're feeling cut off from loved ones or on the outside looking in. If you have a goal, sometimes the Five of Pentacles can mean depression or feeling kind of isolated. Or it could also mean... now. This is weird because you have the Three of Pentacles here. So you have career success. You ha People think highly of you and your work. But you may not feel confident on the inside. A part of you is feeling like you're not sure if you would be accepted. You're feeling um, left out or not included in a situation. So it's your own um, inner insecurities. It has nothing to do with your abilities. You do have talent and ability. So another way that this could play out, this card, for some of you, there could be someone in your life, maybe a relationship, and someone's coming to you because they're going through a difficult time and they're wanting advice or they're wanting someone to help them through a difficult time, to nurture them. To help them to heal. Because if you look at this card. Here's this woman. She's comforting this guy. Who's been wounded. Who's someone who's. You know. The person is, is needing healing. So that could be either you. Or the person. Or someone in your life. Either you're the one needing the healing. Or you're the one giving. The assistance to someone who needs the healing. The king of cups. This is something that has influence. But it's fading. Um, you could be dealing with someone who is very compassionate, who has a healing effect on you. Maybe you're going to this, maybe it's a counselor. Maybe you're going to someone for counseling, for guidance. And this person is helping you through a difficult time or a difficult situation. Helping to, you know, build up your confidence. Helping you to get through a period of instability. And the main issue here is you have to be, you're letting your emotions um, run wild. You're letting your imagination run wild. 
You're imagining a worst case scenario instead of imagining the best case scenario. So you have to call in that scattered mind, that monkey mind. You have to control the monkey mind and focus on what you really want. Focus on your goal and don't be distracted by all these other options. Um, you have to have laser focus in July. And if you can do that, it can help you get through it and you can achieve the victory. Um, otherwise, you're going to be driven all over the place on a wild goose chase because look, Here's the chariot rider. He needs to control those horses. Those horses represent your mind. And the duality of the black and white. It's, it's like, do I look at the positive side of this? Or do I look at the negative side of this? Um, I can see it, you know. So you have to, you know, you have to kind of find that balance. Because these horses want to pull you everywhere. You have to say, no, I don't want to go here or there. I want to go here, straight. <laughs> and I'm going to control my thoughts. I'm going to control what I'm thinking because my thoughts become my reality. If you keep thinking the negative, you're going to, it's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. So don't imagine the worst case scenario because you have this moon card here in your negative thinking sector. And this is a card of confusion. Like you're not sure if you can trust the people around you. Maybe there's a relationship or a partnership business or personal, that you're not sure of. You're not sure if they're being honest with you. Um, something is being offered to you, though, in July. You have the Four of Cups here. So a part of you is like feeling a sense of um, boredom and discontent. You're not feeling appreciated by the people in your life. Maybe you're feeling you're in a relationship and you feel like, well, this person doesn't really care. Or you're in a career situation and you feel like you're not being properly compensated for the work that you do. Something is being offered to you, though, but you're not willing to accept it. It's like a part of you, like you're not happy with your present situation, but you're not ready to change it either. But you could get an offer from a major... Um, I feel like this is more like a career thing. A major company can offer you something that can lead to a stable and secure situation. Um, there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming up. And you may have to... Um, I feel like there are things going on behind the scenes and you have to trust your intuition. You could be dealing with a company that's been around for a long time. It could be government. It could be an educational institution. It could be um, even a health care... You know, some type of hospital or college, university, whatever it is, this is this represents um, wisdom and conservative a conservative structure, a conservative environment. So maybe that's why you're afraid to take this opportunity. You're afraid it's going to be too restrictive, that you won't have the freedom that you need, and it'll be too corporate, too rigid. Because this is a card of stubbornness also. You could also be dealing with a Taurus um, or a water sign with this King of Cups. Whoever this King of Cups is, it's a person who's very compassionate and very um, feels deeply about things but keeps their feelings hidden. And the Hierophant represents wisdom and sharing that wisdom. So you could get an, an offer maybe to teach. Um, to share your wisdom in some way, to be like a, some type of guidance for others. But for some reason, you're not wanting to accept this. But offers are, and opportunities are coming. Doors are going to be opening up for you in July. This is your environment, the Eight of Wands. So messages. You're going to receive some good news in July. Um, you have this Page of Wands. The Page of Wands represents a good a message that is going to make you happy. Like you're going to be happy to hear the news. It's positive news. Um, so it could be a message of love. The Eight of Wands can mean a message of love. In a relationship situation, someone may talk about, you know, reach out to you. It could also mean travel, career success, opportunities where you're going to have to travel to take advantage of them. So you could be either um, 
maybe traveling to represent your company or a job offer comes in and it may be at a different location and you have to travel. Um, the high priestess here is in your wisdom, is in your wish fulfillment sector. This is a card of trusting your intuition. Things are happening behind the scenes, but there will be a favorable outcome. So you may feel confused because you don't know all the information and you're trying to make a decision with partial knowledge. Um, because a lot is hidden in July. You don't know exactly what's going on. But what you do, what you will know is that the outcome will be positive. So even though you don't know all the facts, don't make up, don't fill in the blanks with your imagination. Because if you do that, you're going to get off track. Um, but there are positive things happening. I feel like there's opportunities coming in July for you to advance career-wise and also to connect with someone. Um, but I don't know, for some reason you're hesitating. Maybe you're afraid of these opportunities. You're afraid you'll be restricted in some way. But um, don't feel, or you may feel that you're not good enough or you're not qualified enough to take this opportunity. Don't feel that way. If you're doubting your abilities, you need to stop because you have this talent. So you can move ahead. You just have to have faith in yourself. And don't, put, don't settle for less. Don't settle for a safe situation if, if it's not fulfilling you. Go out and reach, reach out for what you want. So let's see. The solar eclipse happens on July 2nd, and it falls in your second house. And that's the house of income, but it's also the house of self-worth. Um, you know, what, and, and the things that you value. So you could have a new beginning with this eclipse that allows you to value yourself more. And it's going to affect, it's opposing Saturn in the 8th house. So you may feel restricted by institutions. Like if you're trying to get a loan, it's possible that these people are demanding a lot from you. It's a lot of work. You're needing, you know, this money to to um, to advance in some way, and they're putting you through the mill. You have Neptune in the tenth house, so you, there might be some confusion with your career path. Maybe that's why you don't want to accept this opportunity. You're not sure if it's the right one. You're not sure where you want to go with your career. On the other hand, Neptune, in the positive sense, can lead you to a career where you're helping others, where you're he like a healer, some type of healing modality, or even alternative medicine, or some type of spiritual path. Maybe you want to have a job that honors your spirituality as well as... Um, you know, helping others and having compassion for others. Counseling could be another job with Neptune. Creativity, art, music, dance. You have Jupiter going through the seventh house and it's been there for the past year. So now is the time, it's the best time this year to meet a good, if you're not involved in a partnership, Jupiter can bring you a good partner, an optimistic, wealthy, content, um, stable partner, one that brings joy and positivity to your life. Um, Saturn may be giving you a hard time when it comes to finances because the, the main um, issue is what do I deserve? What am I willing to accept? And the way you, um, you have to, it's, money is tied to your self-esteem. If you feel confident in your abilities and confident in who you are, you don't have a problem demanding more money. But when you're feeling insecure, then you tend to accept less than you deserve. So this is the issue you're going to be dealing with in July. What am I worth? And am I getting what I'm and am I getting what I deserve? Um so work on that self-esteem. Work on feeling, you know, feeling confident in your abilities. Because then when we have the full moon in Capricorn on the 16th of July, you might hear news if you're looking for financial support, some type of loan, that will be coming to completion around that time. 
Um, Pluto is in your eighth house. So Pluto in the eighth house is very strong. And conjunct the moon, there could be some ending. Um, that bring, It's an emotional ending because the moon and Pluto together usually means um, whatever is coming to a completion is affecting you on a, on a deep emotional level. So it could be a relationship that ends and then you wind up getting financial support in some way. Um, but this, your money houses are being activated this month with these eclipses. So it's possible that you like end one job and start a new job that pays more. Um, but maybe the ending feels there's a sadness connected to it. Even Saturn is in the eighth house. Saturn is, you know, you might have a lot of expenses. You might have bills that need to be paid. Um, but the North Node is in Cancer in your second house. So it's saying that you need to nurture yourself. Maybe you've been giving too much to others and you haven't been taking care of your own needs. And you may have, you know, been putting up with a lot without thinking of yourself. Like you have to start thinking, what do I deserve? What do I need? This is the issue. Mercury goes retrograde in your third house. So it's time to, if you're working on some type of communication project, you may have to rewrite it or rethink it. If there's something that has to do with you know, the internet or the media or websites or communication, marketing, you may be reworking that at this time to make it better. And with Saturn in the eighth house, you may feel like you're not being supported by authority figures. Like you may want to do certain things and you feel blocked financially or you don't have the money to do what you want to do. Um, But the sun is trying Neptune at this full moon. So the sun is supporting your dreams. And Neptune is, let's see, where's Neptune? Neptune's in your 10th house. So you really have to do a lot of thinking about what do I really want to do? And let me take look realistically at it and follow that path, no matter how difficult I can, if I focus my energy and I focus and I, and I think positive and I believe in myself, I can achieve it. Because there's a, there's a lot of support toward you achieving what you want to do. And there's a lot of support for you to work on your self-esteem, which then will enhance your money-making abilities. Um, you have to have faith in yourself. The, there's a new moon in the third house at um, in Leo at the end of the month, and that is favorable to Gemini. So you could be ending something. Maybe a, maybe you're ending one source of income, and you're moving into a new area that involves communication. That involves um, technology even. So this new moon in the third house in Leo is good for beginning some type of communications project. So it could be a new website. It could be a new, you might want to do something that involves writing. Um, it's very positive because it's conjunct Venus and it's supported by Jupiter. So it's possible that if you're thinking of um, you could be very creative at this time. So maybe you're starting a new writing project or you're, if you're developing a marketing plan or some type of communication, um, something that involves communication, you're going to be very creative at this time, at this new moon. Because there's, there's no um, negative aspects. It's all supportive. It's Venus conjunct the new moon in Leo. So it's about getting your word, getting a word out there, getting your message out there, getting recognition. Um, having the ability to communicate and Gemini you're the communicator you're the storyteller so this new moon can be really positive for you so whatever difficulties you have with these eclipses um, you might be changing your source of income you might be moving into um, something that involves writing or communicating um, and moving away from whatever you were doing you know in the past that wasn't bringing in enough money 
and it's supporting it. Neptune is trining all of this. So uh, Neptune is trining the North Node. It's telling you it's you're getting divine guidance to, that's going to find help you get on the right path because the North Node is the karmic path you need to be on. And it's in Cancer. So it means that you need to nurture yourself. You need to take time to make sure that your needs are being met financially. That whatever you're doing, so maybe it involves communicating your needs to someone. So if you're not getting enough love, if you're not getting enough money, uh, you need to communicate those feelings towards someone so that you can make things better. Um, so I'm really liking this new moon in Leo. I think it's going to be, um, I think by the end of the month, you're going to be in a better position than at the beginning of the month. You're going to be feeling more optimistic. Um, and there are opportunities coming. You have this Eight of Wands. So don't think negatively in July. No matter what you're going through, um, the end is going to be, you're going to have some good news at the end. News that will bring you, um, make help you to feel more positive about things. So if you've been through a difficult time, if you go through a difficult time with these eclipses, you'll come out of it on a better path with more hope for the future. So don't be afraid to speak up if you need to. Don't be afraid to, to accept the love that's on offer. And have confidence, have faith in your ability. The world needs to uh, experience your talent, your special gift. So um, if you're going to start anything, it would be great to start it with that new moon in Leo. It's, um, you know, get past the um, the eclipse thing and the Mercury retrograde. You could go back and rework everything, rework, re, re rewrite, reconfigure, so that when that new moon in Leo comes, you can pour new energy into creativity that will be more fulfilling, and it will bring more money to you also. So, um, if you're thinking about doing anything creative in terms of writing or communicating or performing. That new moon is made for you in Leo at the end of the month. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Gemini. If you'd like a private reading, just click on the link in the description box. In the meanwhile, um, thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will talk to you again next month. Okay, bye now.